All right, guys, we're doing the Chief. We're doing the Chief. It's a named workout. It's a CrossFit workout. Uh, it's five rounds. Uh, three minute AM reps. Was there, what's the rest in between each round? One minute. One three minute. minute. Three minute round, AMRAP style. One minute rest between each each round. I'm gonna double check that, but I'm pretty sure it's one minute. And it's three power cleans and 95 pounds. Uh, 95 for women, 135 for guys. Three, three power cleans, six push-ups, nine air squats. AMRAP, three minutes, rest a minute, five rounds. It's a great dose of fitness. It'll get the job done, it'll get fit. I mean, it's been a long time since I've done this workout. I was trying to think about it on the way over here and I expected it as Colby to say, so what's your, mo what'd you ask me to say, what's your motivation? What's your motivation for this workout or your strategy? And I said, no expectation, but I will promise one thing to myself. I will be willing to suffer. No expectation on what I get. I don't care how many rounds I get. I just promise that it will hurt and that I will, I will let it hurt. That's it. What do you think of this workout that she's about to do? It's actually one of my favorite workouts. Anytime there's rest in a workout, I'm always a big fan of. So, yeah. Is she gonna crush it? Obviously. It's, dude, it's one of those workouts where uh, the push ups are what gets people, right? And it's really like how bad do you want it? And then you always have people that will try to like to, to game it, try to keep like a certain round every single time. And then you have just some people that just go 100% super quick and just hit a wall. I think B is definitely more of a pacer. She's gonna keep it all like super, like huge rounds, everything around. So it'll be good to watch. I got a great view. Key, gotta get your heart rate up before you start. It's like you gotta break the seal. Get your heart rate up, and then you let it come back down, and you're good. Dude, that's a good tip. Yeah, you don't wanna breathe. You don't wanna like reach that point of like that tightness, right? It's like the like, adrenaline sort of stress in your body of like you might be dying. <laughs> I mean, even if you don't do that, when you first start, like, you know, before you start a workout, you'll be okay, obviously. But I've found, and I've done this, you know, every, not every workout, because sometimes I just gotta get in and hit it and quit it. But like for competition and stuff like that, it's always warm everything up, every movement, open, close, make sure movements are warm and you gotta get your heart up, heart rate up. And then you let it come back down and you've kind of broke, broke the seal, sort of. And it's a lot easier when you get into it, when you start breathing heavier, your heart rate starts going up, it never, there's never like that stressful moment. You know what I mean? Like that tight, <laughs> tightness in your chest.
the push up. Okay. And then the third, fourth, and fifth. Play five rooms. Sick. Super sick. Oh my god. Five rounds. A lot of rounds. And I kept like getting confused where, start? where I was because like the cleans start to feel like the end of a round. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I kept like the third, fourth round. I was like, shit, am I? Did I only get four rounds? But I'm like, I'm moving the same way I was moving. I was like, I'm gonna count again on the fifth one. Yeah, you start getting and I was it. like, oh no. And it's just because when I would go to my third round in it, all of a sudden, what I thought was my third round, yeah. I was actually finishing my third round. Yeah. Does that make sense? Because yeah. the clean started to feel like... They feel the end, but it's, but it's really the beginning. Yeah, it felt like, yeah. Like I was finishing around with the queens right. and then starting. But right. what I was doing was like just starting and then. I got you. Oh. Pretty cool. Five rounds. I'd have got six, but whatever. We all know that. <laughs> <laughs> the reason West is still open is because we have maintained a beautiful outdoor facility, social distancing compliant, color coordinated. We got everybody with their own disinfectant wipes, their own stack of starter kit weights. Look at this, so beautiful. So we're able to be in business. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, cleaning her stuff, see that? Everybody's responsible and accountable, cleaning their own weights, see that? Keep everybody safe. I still got it. It hurt just as much as I thought it would. I did, I held five rounds each time, five rounds of the complex each time, but the first two rounds I did, uh, I was five reps short of completing my sixth, Second round, I was nine reps short of completing my sixth, and then third, fourth, and fifth, I did five rounds. So it was good, it was hard as shit. I'm still having a hard time recovering, and I'm very sweaty. Now I gotta go home, got a phone call, and that's it for now. All right, you know what it is. It's time to serve. <laughs> Time to shred, is that what you guys say? Yeah, we, we're gonna go shred, we're gonna rip. We're gonna rip. And uh, where are we at? We're at the point. And what is it What is it like out here today? Apparently it's super clean. The waves are the perfect height for me, so I'm not gonna just get pounded <laughs> to the ground. And there's not a ton of people. So therefore there is a much lower chance of me pissing anyone off. I did very poorly today <laughs> but in fact I uh just it's all about experience figuring out the waves man that's right right and it was fun it, it was, was good. really fun it was nice it felt really good to warm in the water super warm um it was a great way to wake up so yeah now I'm gonna go clean up dry off and I'm gonna work out we're at West I just filmed some stuff for Naked Training. Uh, it's, the world's coming to, it's literally Dante's Peak. If you guys have ever seen that movie in Santa Cruz right now. Uh, Gina's at my house. She's been evacuated from her house. The smoke is super gnarly, especially in where I live. Um, it's like deemed unhealthy now. The air quality is really unhealthy there. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna do a workout because I feel like I just wanna like be there for her, she's at my house. But um, Daniel talked me into it. So I'm gonna do the class workout they have here at West. 
It's uh, some strength stuff. It's They're in a cycle for weighted step ups and then some bicep curls. And then a workout instead of running because the air is really shitty, we're gonna do the bike and jump squat or jumping lunges and then jumping squats. And it'll be good. I'll feel a lot better and I'm supposed to be with DLB this weekend. And, uh, and she's swole as a motherfucker, so. I was really trying to like, you know, get get in shape after Yosemite and my, all my birthday stuff and camping and um, life has been way crazy here. We're in Santa Cruz. Like the weather's been crazy, fires, it's burning up. So, gonna hit this workout really quick and then go home and take care of my best friend. Bad girl with a good heart Lost boy got a fresh start And she's my gasoline Snack chrome on the Mustang Drop top, no we don't play Cause I'm her nicotine That was smoked my quads. And it's a good thing because I've actually been wanting to do some more like squat work that's quad focused. So uh, like skier squats or whatever, you put your heels up on plates. Um, the box step ups, I went higher. So you're in a much more like flex position, deeper than 90 degrees. Um, so you're just kind of sitting up from a lower position. And I was really trying to focus on when I was lowering and when I would drive up to really try and drive through my hill. Because Daniel said it should really be working that butt cheek. But man, it was just my quads. So not mad about it. Um, the bike though, that right into the lunge jumps into jump squats, that is a, it is a, Full body workout but your legs smoked and I think like what's so cool about it uh, you it's originally programmed with running so you could do that exact same workout run a 400 meter come back and it was 20 a jump alternating jump lunge into 10 to 20 jump squats um, we substituted the bike because the air quality outside was 20 calories for me Jason did 25 which I thought was crap because he has super long legs takes me a minute to like get my calories going on the air assault bike but it was great no work no equipment oh, sorry no weights needed a bike but if you're at home you don't have weights and you want to do this workout you all you need is to go running that's it um it's perfect i'm sweaty i need a shower again but daniel was right i'm gonna feel a lot better about my travel day tomorrow if uh, all things go well with the weather here in santa cruz i'll i'm going to salt lake uh, you guys will see this after I go to FitCon, but I'm not gonna vlog while I'm at FitCon. It's kind of a crazy weekend, but as soon as I get home, we'll get right back to it, so. And where are you heading now? I'm heading, actually, to the grocery store. I'm gonna get some groceries for my house. Gina's gonna be living at my house until further notice, and I'm gone all weekend, so I'm gonna go and 
get some food to have in the fridge because right now it's empty. I'm going to the grocery store. And then I'm going home to hang out with my BFF. And hopefully um, nothing, since I've been gone a couple hours, hopefully nothing crazy has happened up where the fire's at. So last time, right before I left, the fire was about uh, maybe under four miles away from where her house is at. So I don't think I've noticed like the wind picking up, so that's a good sign. Hey guys, like and subscribe. Watch my videos. And that's all I have to say. I'm really tired. Thanks for watching. Screams get louder.